Hi friends, a while ago I did a tutorial about a static and impressive VDB explosion. VDB is a data format which describes volumes and uh, it's very sparse and it was introduced I think only a couple of years ago and uh, well, this is the website Ken Musseth and here we have his open VDB paper. Or maybe VDB stands for Volume Database, I don't really know. It's an open source project and you find lots of uh, open VDB files on the internet. For example here, this is CubeBrush and uh, I downloaded over one gigabyte of, well, 200 clouds in open VDB format. Uh, it was free to download maybe it is not anymore if you use it commercially you need to pay two hundred dollars which is fair because the clouds are quite impressive the clouds in my case arrive as a raw directory which i can of course extract here and as you see it's quite big it's over a gigabyte as i said the files are basically in two formats a low res and a high res description of the clouds 100 each that's why it's 200 actually it's 100 only depending on how you want to use them so here is volume 1 flat clouds and round clouds and high res low res etc really a lot of clouds here and uh, if you look into the folder high res you see files starting at 0001 and ending with 100. It's not an animation. It's just different clouds. It's 100 different clouds. You can use them in many contexts. In Maya obviously using Arnold and uh, this is what my tutorial was about. But you can also use them in Renderman. Renderman how to read open VDB. So it's a format which is quite popular now because it's so lightweight and it describes volumetric data so precisely. I wanted to find out this. Under Windows I have the Bifrost Graph Editor. If you don't find it here go to Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager and load Bifrost all the modules which are av available with the current Maya system. We're in Maya 2019 uh, and uh, in all later versions I guess it will be there anyway. Bifrost Graph Editor and we create a new graph it starts with an input and an output and when I press the key tab here I can search for VDB let's call it volumetric database and I have several options here and I wondered how I could apply them and one of them is called read open VDB volume and that's quite lovely it is here on the right hand side it has file name input field directory and the frame and properties etc so what we need to do is we need to put in our clouds here or just one of the cloud descriptions maybe frame number 55 so let's try this i said 55 so i need to stick to 55 now i copy that name here flat clouds 0055 copy and I paste it in here and in the second line here I need to put in the directory it's somewhere here in my downloads folder so I just copy this and paste the description in here there's nothing visible in the scene because I need a connection and that connection is now <laughs> wait and see so trivial I send the volumes to the output and here I see a little little something here and we can get close to it and that's the flat cloud number 55 if I load in the 54 it looks totally different and this is a process which was so fast remember I was just loading the Bifrost graph editor into this into the view then the VDB volume read node and I fed it with the name and directory where this VDB file sits. And it's 
already in the scene and when you create a light a sky dome light for example you just render this it takes a second because Maya has to put together all the Bifrost graph data and of course you can render it with all other renderers as well like as I said Pixar's RenderMan which is a beautiful rendering engine but I stick to Arnold and the reason is not my preference it's uh, because Arnold is shipped with Maya and I don't want to load too many plugins which would make the tutorials more difficult so this is all I wanted to show you if you read the file sequence this is what you see uh, it doesn't make sense here because the cloud doesn't move or develop it's just a set of 100 clouds that's all there is and of course you can distribute 100 clouds over your sky if you like bye bye